and your local Super Talk Mississippi radio station. But don't forget, you can watch us. You can do that on your computer, your mobile device. Just head on over to Super Talk TV. And there are so many good things happening on our main streets and downtowns across the Magnolia State. And today we get to highlight what's happening downtown this weekend. It is brought to you by the Mississippi Main Street Association. Now, don't you forget, you can always go to msmainstreet.com slash calendar to get more information on upcoming events. And joining us is Miss Carolyn Burke. She's with the Laurel Main Street Association, and they've got their annual Lob Lobly, Lob Lobly, Lob, you know, you say it for me, Lob, I know Lob Lobly, I get it tongue twisted, Miss Carolyn, yeah, but it's annual it's and it's great. <laughs> yes. Yes, so our Lob Lolly Festival is this weekend, this Saturday, from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Um, all over downtown Laurel, we have over 250 vendors of all kinds. Um, so you can eat great and, you know, leave with some Christmas gifts and, you know, wear the kids out. So it's always a great day downtown. How many years have y'all been doing this festival, Carolyn? Um. I believe this is our 17th year prior to Main Street taking it, um, The or maybe our 16th year. Prior to Main Street running it, the city ran it. It was the Main Street Festival, um, but we took it over back when Main Street was formed, Laurel Main Street was formed, and have been running it ever since, and it has grown exponentially. It's something I assume everyone looks forward to. Obviously, not the good eating will get you out. The good shopping will, too. But the unique name, which I think is unique to Laurel. So where does Lob Lolly? See, I can get it right, Carolyn, when I slow yeah. down and think about it. <laughs> where does Lob Lolly come from? So Lob Lolly pines are a um, type of pine tree that is native to our area. Um, and we are a timber town. So, you know, everything runs on southern yellow pine down here. And the, so the festival was named after the Loblolly pine tree that is so prolific around Laurel. That's pretty cool. If we've never been before, what would be your top reasons why we should come out and give Loblolly a try for the, for the first time? Um, gosh, it's hard to narrow down one. But, I mean, the first thing that comes to my mind is the food. We have more food vendors this year than we've ever had and more variety in our food vendors. So we've got everything from, you know, sweet treats and desserts to, um, you know, carnival favorites like corn dogs and chicken on a stick. And there's even a Hawaiian food vendor this year. So a little bit of everything. But um, we have some great local musicians that are playing. We have two stages this year. That's new. We always, in the past, we've only had one. Um, so we have two stages to listen to local artists play. And, you know, just the shopping, I mean, looking at the variety of vendors we have, there is literally something for everyone. If you were going to be coming in from out of town, Carolyn, I think most folks know how to find Laurel. But where would be, like, the best place to park or other kind of tips or tricks to make sure that your Lob Lolly experience um, would be a good one? So parking is always a big question. Um, you know, every street in downtown Laurel is taken up with the festival. So parking is relegated to the outside outlying lot um there is parking on the south side of downtown even into the shopping center um a little ways down um there's several churches that have good lots uh north of the our downtown area um so there are outlying lots just expect to walk a block or two to be able to get into the heart of the festival would there be any other good tips? Like, I mean, obviously you want to bring your strollers if you've got small children, but what about blankets or, I mean, what would be like a top tip for making the best out of the festival or making um, the most out of the top, festival? My top tip, like, I mean, a couple of, you know, just good rules of thumb. If you have little, uh, definitely bring strollers or wagons. Um, you know, you can use that or a cart if you plan to shop big and don't want to carry it. Um, the, there is a changing station at the United Way this year, so if you have littles or um, you know anybody that might need that service, that's available for free, courtesy of one of our local churches. Um, but the big thing that I always forget every year, and you know try to remind myself, is to wear sunscreen because it's it's looking like we're going to have a good day, and even if it is a little cloudy, it is still very easy to, to get a sunburn out there. Um, but I'm hoping that the weather stays pretty and stays cool um but yeah the my biggest advice is to to bring something to carry your kids and carry your your gifts and all the things that you find to shop for 
If we want to know more about the music lineup or maybe other things that are happening in Laurel on your Main Street or just in your downtown area, because you all always have the best events going on, Carolyn, where can they go to stay updated? Um, so all of our event details are on our website. It's just laurelmainstreet.com. And that does have links to our social media. So, like, our band lineups and um, links to all of their social media are on our Facebook and Instagram. Um, the festival map is on our website, and you can actually click through and see. If you hover over each vendor, you can actually see who's there. So you can plot out your entire festival experience before you ever step foot in downtown. How many vendors did you say were coming, Carolyn? Um, over 250. Yeah. We have over 300 spots. And then several vendors have, you know, gotten multiple spots. So we have somewhere between 250 and 275 vendors. Yeah, that's a full day of shopping. You're gonna Absolutely. Need, you're going to need some eating up in there. Well, it sounds like it's going to be yeah. a wonderful event, Carolyn. I appreciate your time, and thank you for, thank you for it. Thank you. All righty, there you go. If you want to head out to Laurel, that's their Live Lolly Festival, and it's always a big hit. But maybe you're closer to Ripley or want to try something new, like Oktoberfest. Joining us is Mr. Will Vance. He's the owner of Jefferson Street Tap Room. That's pretty cool. And looking forward to this weekend. So, hey, Will. Hey, how are you? I am doing well. So, what's going on this weekend in Ripley in terms of Oktoberfest? Well, this is our third annual Oktoberfest. So we are um, a tap room that uh, tries to cater to the traditional old school German German style uh, Oktoberfest theme. So we have um, uh, three bands lined up. It'll be an outdoor event. Of course, our indoors will be open. You're welcome to come in and hang out. And then outside, of course, the weather's supposed to be beautiful. So uh, we have some traditional Oktoberfest games. One of them is Hammerschlagen. I won't go into details. You can look that one up. It's just a fun game to, uh, to play. We'll have a cornhole tournament. Uh, like I say, we have three bands lined up. Um, we'll be serving the traditional German brats and pretzel bites, and we have our hometown famous beer cheese to go with that. And then we also have a couple of more food vendors that will be set up. So it's just going to be a good evening of uh, enjoying some ad- adult cocktails, uh, a couple of Oktoberfest brews, of course, we have anything non-alcoholic that you may want as well. And uh, so it's a good family time. You can come hang out, bring the kids. we got some games for them to play. So it'll happen from 5 to about 1030 that evening. So you're going to have to go back to the game. Oh, you're going to have to say it again. <laughs> Hammer schlagen. Hammer schlagen. That's not a drinking game, is it? <laughs> yes. Yeah, so it's it's a just a uh, fun, traditional German uh, Oktoberfest game. All it is is we have a, a big piece of hardwood that has like uh, 20 penny nails, which are really huge nails, uh, just kind of tapped into the wood. And then you get a really lightweight, smallest hammer you can find. And you stand around in a circle around this, and everybody gets one turn, and the first person to drive the nail completely into the wood is the winner. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it's just a fun little game to pass the time. And then you mentioned something else. I don't know if I've ever heard of deer cheese. Now, I've heard of deer sausage. I've heard of other things made, you know, with deer and cheese in it. But explain deer cheese to me. Well, I can't give you the recipe, but... (laughs) It's, uh, it's our version. Beer cheese is a traditional German deal, too, that uh, you use for just that. It's you, you dip your pretzel and your pretzel bites in. and um, So, yeah, it's just a cheese dip that uh, we make with beer and then a few other special ingredients. Oh, sounds delicious. Sounds absolutely delicious. Okay, what would be your best Mississippi directions for Ripley, Mississippi? How would you get us there? So Ripley, Mississippi, we're kind of in the uh, northern area. Um, we're about, uh, I guess the easiest way everybody could identify is we're roughly 40 minutes north of Tupelo. Good deal. And that would put us approximately 30 minutes below um, South Haven area, if you're familiar with that area. So um, we're kind of midways between Tupelo and Memphis. So, Will, how long have you had the Jefferson Street Tap Room? Is that the name of your of your brewery? Or Yes, what? ma'am. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Um, we've, we've been in business uh, for three, well, it'll be three years this January 1st. Oh, that's cool. That's really cool. On a regular day when it's on Oktoberfest, do you still have the beer cheese and all that there? Or <laughs> Absolutely. The beer cheese is always on the menu. We're open uh, only on Thursday night, Friday night, and Saturday night. But, uh, yeah, the beer cheese is always available. All righty. Well, thank you for your time, Will. Hope y'all have, y'all will. It will be the great uh, weather for it. Everyone come out to Ripley and give October a fest and try the beer cheese for me. If you're ever in Jackson, bring some with you. Absolutely, we will. I appreciate it. All right. I appreciate your time. And don't forget, to you can always go to msmainstreet.com slash calendar to get more information on upcoming events. But stick with us. We got more good for you coming up next.